On a brighter note tonight, the Wiregrass Fellowship of Christian Athletes held their 14th annual meeting, inviting members from surrounding communities to come out and worship. WDHN's Cody Giles was at the event to get a sense of what was taking place on the west side of Dothan. Cody, you were telling me thousands of people, in fact, attended the event this past evening. Well, Mike, uh, in years past, they've had upwards of 2,500 people attend this event. But while this year's may not be quite as big, there's definitely no lack of faith. This evening, more than 1,000 people met at the Westgate soccer fields to hear gospel, music, and testimonies from people young and old. This event has been going on for more than 10 years now, and it keeps on growing. We started this uh, 14 years ago. And, uh, 100 people met at that time behind Dothan High, and it's grown up to 2,500 in the, in the past several years. Events like this allow for people who may not quite feel comfortable in smaller, more personal settings to come out of their comfort zone and be around people who care about them. I think events like this bring in people who maybe don't go to church or don't feel comfortable um, talking about God all the time. They can come here and be in a community with everyone who they know is going to worship God together. And I think it really helps their faith. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, it has actually brought people together, even if they had to spread out just a little bit more. We just spread out last year, offered masks, and uh, we had uh, 1,383 came, 227 surrendered their life to Christ. And so uh, we were like, you know, we need to go ahead and have this. If one kid makes a decision for Christ, it's worth it. Honestly, at first it was really tough, but I think it's made us stronger. It's brought us closer together. It's made us think of ways to continue to worship God. It's made us find ways to get closer to God, even when we couldn't be together. It was at this event like four years ago that I decided I really wanted to be baptized. So I think it's really good for everyone. The event started around 6 o'clock this afternoon and wrapped up around 9. Back to you, Mike.